Hi, it's Barb from Eat for Health, and if you are looking for something new to do with quinoa, then you will want to try this sesame quinoa salad that I'm going to show you today. It's a quick and easy recipe. I actually did it in my kids' class. The kids made them made it themselves, and they loved it. So get your kids involved in this one. So here's what we have for the salad portion of it. We have two cups of cooked quinoa. Um, we, you cook quinoa just like you do rice. I put in one cup of quinoa to two cups of water, and it ended up making about four cups of quinoa, which I'm actually going to use the rest of my quinoa for a quinoa loaf tonight, so that'll be yummy. So we have our two cups of quinoa. I have a half cup of shredded carrot, which we're going to put in there. A half cup of peas those in there and then a quarter cup of red pepper so we're going to put this in and just get that mixed around so the other thing I like about this salad is it's really pretty it's fun to eat things that are pretty you can't really tell maybe so much but it's got lots of nice color in it okay so we're going to set that aside for a second and let's work on our dressing because that's the key to the flavor so in a small bowl, we are going to add let's do this, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. And then I have a tablespoon and a half of tahini. So that's what's going to give it our sesame taste. Put that in there. And then I have two tablespoons of I'm using low sodium soy sauce, or you can use tamari if you need it to be gluten free. That. And I have a tablespoon and a half of maple syrup. Get that in there. And then we need to do a teaspoon of grated ginger. I just keep this in my refrigerator. I, you find it in the produce department at your store and that way when you need grated ginger it's always available to you. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon of that and then we need a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. So we'll add that in and then we just whisk this together. Got my whisk. that all this together. Pour it over our salad. Now this is good on its own. And um, the other thing I like to do is add it to a regular salad because I like to add grains to my salad. So we have, we mix it in and that's it, it's super easy. Actually, you can catch a glimpse of my dog. He thought it smelled so good that he came over to investigate also that seek. So this is savory, a little bit sweet. It's got some crunch from the veggies. So leave me a comment if you try it. Like and subscribe to my um, YouTube channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks.